Hello everyone, welcome to the IchimokuCharts.com daily analysis for the US dollar Japanese yen FX for Friday, July the 31st. Well, a red body candle day today and a very large red body candle. That means the bears have made a large net negative gain on the day and not the sort of candle that we want to see in a market that's trying to trend up. This is a market that's in a second time frame uptrend as evidenced by the higher peaks and troughs and uh, quite a uh, serious uh, sell-off in this market and this candle is of uh, different character than we've seen in all of this upswing. Most of the red-bodied candles that we've seen when the market sold off have been fairly small-bodied candles except for this one but there was buying coming in on the, on the bottom of this one. The body of this candle is quite a bit larger so there is a chance that this market could continue to sell off a bit more substantially. Now there is support down here from the swing lows at around 94 and there was buying coming in when the market tried to sell off there before so there's a level where we could uh, see buyers starting to come in. Interestingly though we've also uh, just touched on the uh, Tenkan Sen. The market's found support at the Tenkan Sen there and a little bit of buying has come in. Not very strong buying though but there has been some buying and we should also look to the uh, Kijun Sen which is at 94.34.5 and, a half. and uh, we should um, see some uh, well we could see some potential um, support coming in there just looking at the configuration of the highs and lows we have a change of uh, trend to the uh, downside now we have a lower high and a lower low now um, some people might be tempted to call this a um, borderline um, tweezers top um, it's borderline because the highs aren't exactly equal but there's a reason why it probably isn't um, valid to call it a tweezers top, and that's because there's no substantial trend before the, um, the, the tweezers top in a first time frame I'm talking about. In the second time frame there is, but in a first time frame we've only got a one bar uptrend. The previous uh, trend was uh, down here, and we had an outside day, and then a one bar uptrend, and then the tweezers top. We need more of a, a first time frame uptrend for that to be... Uh, uh, tweezers top. Now that doesn't mean that the, the market isn't bearish and that the market might not continue to sweat, sell off but it, it all it means is that it um, it's, uh, just doesn't fit the uh, the ideal uh, pattern that we like to see with uh, the tweezers top candlestick reversal pattern. So obvious uh, that this uh, area that we identified as a previous area of uh, support that's now trading as resistance and the market failed to close up through there uh, strongly and we have this sell off so that's holding as a zone of resistance, but the zone has extended and the zone has uh, has now moved up to uh, around here, roughly about 96 as well. So uh, an extension of this this um, area of, uh, of resistance here. If the market does continue to appreciate, if we do take off out that 96 level, then we have uh, potential resistance at the uh, bottom of the Kumo and anywhere within the Kumo as well. So there is uh, potential for that now. We identified uh, yesterday also that the uh, the Kijun Sen was flat and that tends to be an attractor of price action and that's exactly what's happened here. The market uh, was trying to move into an area of disequilibrium but uh, the uh, the flat Kijun Sen is showing that market is in equilibrium and we've got this uh, large, um, fairly large uh, congestion that's taking place through this region of, uh, of resistance. So uh, flat Kijun sends or Tenkan sends, but especially the Kijun Sen tends to be an area that um, the price action becomes attracted to, and that's because uh, the market markets will move from areas of disequilibrium to equilibrium, and we're in disequilibrium at this level here. So the market is being attracted back to that uh, to that area there. So um, the area around 96 becomes important for the market if there's going to be appreciation, which I think is unlikely. The um, Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen become important. The swing low support at 94 is very important for this market. If we take that out, we have support down around 93 and then this strong zone of support around the 92 area. Mm -hmm.